We present Deep Deform, a data-driven non-rigid reconstruction approach based on learned semi-supervised non-rigid correspondences. One of the most prominent non-rigid reconstruction techniques is dynamic fusion. Dynamic fusion takes as input an RGBD video and reconstructs its 3D shape while also tracking the object motion. For each new RGBD frame, the canonical shape is aligned to the current depth frame using model-to-frame ICP. Afterwards, the model is updated based on the current depth measurements. While model-to-frame ICP works well for slow object motions, it fails for faster and challenging motions. In this work, we propose a data-driven approach for non-rigid correspondence matching. One key challenge is how to obtain good training data. Self-supervision is one way to obtain training samples by recording deforming objects and using existing reconstructions to compute correspondences. However, this is insufficient for generating training samples of fast motion and challenging deformations for which we need supervised annotations. We first introduce a semi-supervised data collection method for creating our dataset. We employ this data to train a non-rigid correspondence prediction network. Finally, we incorporate the predicted correspondences into a non-rigid reconstruction approach to enable robust reconstruction, even of fast motion. Semi-supervised annotation proceeds in the following steps. We use an iPad in combination with a structure I.O. sensor to record RGBD videos containing one or more non-rigidly deforming objects. We sample a few frames of each sequence and annotate dynamic object masks. To accelerate annotation, we use superpixels as a brush unit. We then sample frame pairs in each sequence and annotate sparse matches from the source to the target frame. If some source parts are occluded, we also annotate occlusion points. We run our dense frame-to-frame -frame alignment algorithm and review its results using a simple interface. The final result is a source object mesh that is densely aligned to fit the target frame. In total, we recorded 400 RGBD sequences, comprising over 300,000 RGBD frames. Given a source RGBD frame and a selected key point, we predict the key point position in the target frame. The inputs to the network are the source RGBD patch and the target RGBD patch. Both RGBD patches are encoded using an encoder with shared weights. A bottleneck layer is used to concatenate the encoded features and a decoder outputs the key point prediction as a heat map. In addition, we predict a visibility score to handle occlusions. Finally, we predict the depth of the key point in the target image, which we use for correspondence filtering. Here we show some qualitative heat map prediction results. For a few sampled points in the reference frame on the left, the network predictions in the current frame are shown on the right. We observe that both human and non-human correspondences are estimated robustly even in the presence of fast motion and large deformations. We compare against traditional descriptors and 3D match trained on our data. We also compare our dataset to rigid data from the ScanNet dataset and self-supervised data. 3D Match performs better than the classical approaches, but it is still less robust compared to our method. Self-supervision for training results in inaccurate predictions for more extreme deformations, which is handled properly with our semi-supervised data. Our non-rigid reconstruction framework follows the dynamic fusion pipeline and employs depth ICP constraints to align the canonical shape to the current depth map. In addition to the depth constraints, heat map correspondences are also employed for every deformation node. We show some qualitative reconstruction results using our data-driven non-rigid reconstruction approach. The model tracking is visualized in the middle, while the canonical shape is shown on the right.
We compare our approach to our re-implementation of Dynamic Fusion, the original code of Volume Deform and Dynamic Fusion with added 3D match feature matching. We evaluate deformation and geometry error on our 30 test sequences. We show the influence of training data on the reconstruction performance and evaluate the effect of using additional visibility and depth predictions for correspondence filtering. We show a qualitative comparison of our approach to Dynamic Fusion. Our approach is more robust to fast motions and obtains higher quality reconstruction results. The authors of MonoFVV kindly provided us with reconstruction results of a few test sequences for qualitative comparison. Our approach is more robust and obtains higher quality. Thank you for watching.